Finished by now, building the wall along the Israeli-Lebanon border. Israel is reportedly building a wall of its own, as it has in other areas, to protect its northern border. The reason is an increasing threat from Iranian-backed Hezbollah terrorists. What's more, word is, this new border barrier might not be unlike the wall prototype standing right now south of San Diego at the U.S.-Mexico border. Joining me now on the Daily Ledger, page 5B, the founder of the American Truth Project, Barry Nussbaum. Uh, Barry, uh, one thing's for sure, uh, this country, Israel, knows all about border barriers. Israel, Graham, is the canary in the coal mine when it comes to be being on the front line and protecting against infiltration from terrorists, from drug dealers, from massive waves of illegal immigration, and they are leading the world in effective barrier barriers to keep people out that don't belong in your country. And uh, Trump makes no secret he is loving what Trump, uh, the Trump plan that's going in effect in uh, in Israel with Netanyahu. I'm standing here on the border of Israel and Lebanon. I'm actually standing at the most recently completed section of border fence. In fact, uh, these last few pieces were just put in overnight since I was here yesterday. Lebanon claims that Israel's border wall is uh, violating their sovereignty, even though it's being built on the Israeli side of the border. Uh, Hezbollah is threatening publicly to shoot any construction workers that work on the wall, but the wall's still going to happen, isn't it? That's absolutely right, Barry. And in response, there are a lot of IDF soldiers in the area, many of them in camouflage blind serving to cover the construction workers. Barry, the wall is definitely going to still happen. Uh, there's no way that threats from Lebanon itself or the terrorist group Hezbollah is going to keep the IDF from completing this wall. The IDF has determined that the wall and the barrier going with it in some places is necessary to prevent a, a ground invasion from Lebanon. What can you tell us about the design? Is it similar to the wall that Trump wants to build on the southern U.S. border with Mexico? I'm not sure exactly which version of the wall Trump is talking about on the border, but eight meter high cement fence probably isn't a bad way to go. You can't scale it. Um, you can't shoot through it. You can't pass notes through or drugs through it. So it might not be a bad way to go. That is Damon Rosen, our American Truth Project director on the border in Lebanon yesterday with us, Graham, filming the 25 foot high concrete barrier that right now today is going up on the Lebanese border and the difference between the United States and Israel is Israel has snipers there to protect the workers who are literally getting shot at. Well, uh, you know, that's not uh, far afield of what could happen once the construction starts along our southern border, if it, you know, knock on wood, if it does start uh, at some point and gets the funding. Uh, so, but you know, my question is, this is, yeah, I don't know whether uh, it's uh, uh, the United States uh, following Israel or Israel following the United States. When you're looking at that fencing from the shots I saw, that looked like double layer fencing. It looked like a fence and then uh, a concrete wall, which is similar to what exists currently uh, in the Southern California region uh, along the border. So you, you wonder if there's a little bit of an exchange of information going on here between Israel and the United States in terms of border security. Yeah, I wouldn't say a little bit of exchange, Graham. I would say an avalanche of exchange. On the West Bank border, I was just there, as you know, filming uh, several months ago, and there are hundreds of miles completed. And in many places, it's 25 feet tall, it's concrete, and then there's another layer of uh, wire and metal fencing uh, of similar length, and they have cut down suicide bombings, get this, to zero from hundreds. Hey, Barry, and I, but last I checked, that when they built the, the, the fencing and the wall along the southern border in Israel, um, I heard they did it for about a million dollars a mile. And you have any idea what the cost is on this one? Because it just doesn't seem like the numbers they're throwing around in this country uh, seem to be, they seem to be very, very inflated. Uh, certainly, if we could do our border for a million dollars a mile, I mean, come on, that's a rounding error. 
Yeah, in the in the southern region uh, on the Gaza border, which we uh, filmed as well, Graham, they were doing it for a couple of million dollars a mile on flat ground. There you go, yeah. And they cut down immigration from, get this, 16,000 a year Ill illegal immigrants coming through the area to less than 1% of that. That decline was over a year when the fence was completed. We will see the same thing on the southern Mexico border yeah. if we complete the fence. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Um, Barry, uh, before I let you go, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, he was rushed to the hospital. Do we have a word on his condition? Um, he has been released. He's better. The word in Israel now is the talk is about who will come next to secede him if he does leave for health reasons. And boy, oh boy, is that going to be a fight inside Israel. He's been there a long, long time in the prime minister's office. Well, good health to Benjamin Netanyahu. Good health to Israel. And uh, I want to remind everybody that uh, good walls make for good neighbors. Barry, thank you.